what is up guys i'm out here at bright house today um it's been raining a lot i don't know if you guys remember you sh probably should but i used to stand on that point over there it's actually all underwater now i'm throwing a chatterbait right now but um i was throwing it for a few minutes when i got here it didn't seem like anything was gonna really hit it i feel like slow rolling on the bottom with like a jig or I oh, don't know, something finesse will probably get them today. So, yeah guys, I'm gonna get at it. Um, definitely there's been a lot more rain, so hopefully the bass are driven up, well, driven to the bottom, not at the top more. So, yeah guys, I'll get you in just a second. All right guys, I'm gonna walk over here and might have to walk into the water, I don't know. Got a lot deeper. Uh, if you guys are wondering what rod and reel this is, this is the one I did the unboxing on. Same setup. So far, it's a really great setup. The reel goes great with the rod. So, yeah. It's only my second time using it with the rod, so, so far, they cast great together. Rail's phenomenal. How smooth it is. Has a decent line capacity for the size of it. It's not like a huge line capacity, like 180 yards or 120, 130, but it's probably around 120 or so. Possibly. So I do have 20 pound braid on here. So yeah, we're just gonna give the chatter bait a try today. I just hope something hits it. Cause I haven't been here for a while, but seeing the rain really came, I wanna try this place out again. <laughs> I was thinking of trying something, something top water, really. probably like a frog or something. I don't know, there's not much structure around here. Like besides that corner, but we'll see. Never really know what's gonna happen. All right, guys, I had to switch baits because that chatter bait just wasn't working. I just switched over to a rugby head, a BMC rugby head with a, the original shaky worm, as they call it. And it's pretty hot. I want to wanna work the bottom a little and see what will happen. Wish I had some darker colors with me right now because I don't. The color isn't that dark. Yeah, this water is like real cloudy. I don't know if that was a log or and that was a log. I feel like I was getting a hit for a second there and I was dragging it and I was hitting a log. Oh yeah. That gar guys right there. So we can get him. Nothing else happening right now, so, so we'll try something fun, he's a little guy. 
<laughs> I got him. I got him. <laughs> oh man, he almost got me. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look at that. Whoa, guys, look at that. He's only got one eye. That's crazy. Oop. These things are really tough. Look at that. The little car, guys. He's getting back in the water. Bring him. Let him go. <laughs> Alright, guys, I threw on a jig. I'm gonna get that go for a little while. If I don't get anything after a while, I'm just gonna get head and out of here. I believe it's a uh, hundred degrees, and the feeling is uh, wait no, it's nine degrees and like a feeling of a hundred and five. So. <laughs> Not that great outside. All the sides, all that bait in that gar. There's, I haven't seen anything on the edges. Really wish that tree was out at least 20 feet. Still not that deep at the edge. It's pretty shallow. Alright guys, I'm going to get out of here. It's just super hot today and just nothing biting at all. I would have tried a little bit more, but I don't know. For some reason, I'm not seeing anything on the edges. I'm not getting any hits at all. So, anyways guys, like always, uh, it's been Roland Rossi. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.